Hey guys, I figured I'd show you how to get on the pirate boat that is in Brestonin for the Asmodeans in Aeon Classic. First thing you're going to have to do is you're going to want to follow this path up on the map here until you can cut across and get on top of this cliff. As you can see, you'll fight your way through some Kesslets and other mobs until you see the Petra Hulks, and there will be a Petra Hulk patrolling here. You just need to wipe him out real quick and then you're ready to begin. Now, I should give you a little warning that for this, you want to make sure that you have as much flight time available as possible. As in this current version of Aeon, we cannot use flight serums unless we are actually flying. And you can't use them while gliding either. So, make sure that you're stacked up on flight time and you don't have to wait. And what we're going to do is we're going to glide to these geysers. And we are going to use the geysers to keep gliding all the way to that ship. So I'm going to start by jumping off and gliding. Now, I'm not going to hold forward very often. Because I want to catch enough updraft to hit this first geyser. Uh, sometimes you have to redo this a couple times to make sure you hit it. As you can see, it's going to be very close if I make it or not. And this does take quite a bit of flight time out. So I'm close. I'm going to clip my wings, re-hit them just so I can land here. Now that I've made it here, I can stand in the middle of this geyser. It's not going to do anything to me. You can go ahead and rest, let your flight time build up. But when you feel ready, which I recommend making sure you have at least one minute or so of flight time, you gotta go up to the ledge of this crater, and we're just gonna double jump and glide forward. And when you do that, you will catch an updraft, which will lift you up so it can get enough air to make it to the next geyser. Now, just a reminder for new players that have not played on before, we cannot swim. Davos are hydrophobic. Water bad ocean bad do not go into the water you will begin to drown and take mass damage so I'm gonna glide forward and as you can see as I glide it forward it just caught an updraft it's floating me up and now once I'm at the top I'm gonna hold the W key so I can move forward I'm on the next one I can either stay gliding or I can stop to rest and jump in from the ledge I feel comfortable with my flight time, so I went and jumped. Uh, this one's going to be close. Perfect, made it in. I'm going to stop and rest here for just a second. As you can see, as we get closer, you're going to start seeing more of these geysers and more routes. We want to take whatever route is quickest to get to the boat here. And the reason we want to get to this boat is there are several quests that take you to the boat to kill a uh, captain on there. There's also a hidden mob there, a named mob that can drop a pretty unique uh, captain helmet skin. Unfortunately, he is heavily farmed, so the odds of finding him up, even if you change channels, is pretty rare. I have been checking for him for the last about week or so. I haven't seen him up yet. I do know someone that has found him a few times up, but unfortunately they claim that they killed him three times and all three times he did not drop the helmet for them. So once again, I'm doing the same process again. I'm going to stop here and wait. Now if you do miss these ledges and land down here, sometimes you can mountain goat your way up onto the edge and allow yourself to jump up and get in here. Uh, you can always also jump backwards if you're a sork and use blind leap. Sometimes that will push you over the edge and get you up. Uh, if you fall down in the water though, you're basically you're just kind of screwed. You can try to run along the bottom to get to the ship, but that water damage is pretty bad. In this version, they did seem to add in some invisible walls to prevent clerics from just running from the beach all the way to the ship which you used to be able to do uh, there used to also be another glide point where you go up on you mountain goat up on this cliff here and you could just glide to the ship unfortunately they did put in invisible barriers to prevent uh, players from doing that as well so you basically have to do this tactic which 
is a little painful and time consuming. As you can tell, I'm a little nervous doing this one right here. Hoping for an updraft, hoping for an updraft. This, oh, that one was close. Alright, I'm gonna wait for a little flight time. Just give me a second here. Alright, my flight time is back, so we are gonna go again. I'm actually gonna take this one and try to just go straight to the ship. I'm not gonna try to deal with the other geysers. So, just to be ready, because there are mobs that I'm gonna buff up. Double jump. Yeah, this one gives you really good altitude. So with this one, I feel comfortable enough that I will be able to hit the ship if I can get moving quick enough. I gotta kinda zigzag. I'm gonna actually clip my wings. I don't wanna run out of flight time. Right there's the quest NPC. That is not the NPC that drops the hat. So that should be it. I'm gonna check the other channels one second. So I went ahead and I checked the other channels to see if the rare mob was up to see if I can get myself a hat. Unfortunately, he was not. As you can see, as I went to the other channels, both of the other channels did have someone's alt uh, SM sitting here camping, waiting for the rare spawn. This is starting to become a normal thing that we are seeing in Aeon Classic, unfortunately, where people are camping these bosses 24-7, making it a little difficult to get the skins for yourself. Uh, on the plus side, a lot of times these people are camping them just to sell them on the broker and not for personal use. So as they keep farming these bosses and getting these rare spawn named mobs and the rare skins, we will start to see the price come down on the broker, making these skins more uh, affordable. Unfortunately, that makes them a little less rare, in my opinion, which makes them less uh, desirable. But that changes depending on each player's perspective. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys figure out a cool little new area you can explore and get to on the map. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if there's other hidden areas you guys want to know about or if you know about and want me to make a video on. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this to your friends. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And as always, I hope to see you again.